Hey everyone, Linus here. Today we're diving into the world of network devices. These often overlooked gadgets are the backbone of our digital lives. Imagine a world without internet access, online gaming, or even just sending emails. That's what life would be like without routers, switches, and access points working tirelessly behind the scenes. These devices act as traffic controllers, ensuring data gets where it needs to go quickly and efficiently. From the moment you hit send on an email to the instant a video loads on your phone, network devices are hard at work. They form the invisible highways and byways of the internet, connecting us all in a complex and fascinating dance of data. But how do they actually work? Let's break it down. First up, we've got routers. These are like the post office of the internet. They figure out the best route for your data to travel across networks, ensuring it reaches its destination. Think of it like sending a letter. You write the address, and the post office figures out the most efficient way to get it there. Routers do the same thing for your data packets. Next, we have switches. These clever devices connect various devices within a network. They're like traffic cops directing cars at an intersection, making sure data flows smoothly between computers, printers, and other devices within your home or office. Finally, we have access points, the unsung heroes of Wi-Fi. These devices act as bridges between your wired network and your wireless devices. They allow your smartphone, laptop, and smart fridge to connect to the internet wirelessly, giving you the freedom to browse from anywhere in your home. Now, while these network devices are essential, managing them can be a real pain, especially in older traditional networks. These legacy systems often resemble a tangled mess of wires and hardware, making them difficult to configure and maintain. Imagine trying to find a single faulty wire in a giant ball of yarn. That's what managing a complex network can feel like. Each device needs to be configured individually, making changes a time-consuming and error-prone process. This complexity can lead to network outages, security vulnerabilities, and a whole lot of frustration for network administrators. Thankfully, there's a light at the end of the tunnel software-defined networking or SDN for short. Section 4. Software-defined networking or SDN is like bringing the power of software to networking. It's a revolutionary approach that simplifies network management by centralizing control and making it more flexible. Think of it like this. Instead of manually configuring each device individually, SDN allows you to control your entire network from a single software interface. This centralized control makes it much easier to monitor network traffic, implement security policies, and troubleshoot problems. It's like having a single dashboard for your entire network, giving you a bird's eye view of everything that's going on. Section 5, SDN in Action, Decoupling Control and Data Planes for Network Nirvana. But how does SDN actually achieve this magic? The key lies in separating the control plane from the data plane. In traditional networks, these planes are intertwined, making them complex and difficult to manage. SDN decouples these planes, allowing for greater flexibility and control. Imagine the control plane as the brain of your network, making decisions about how data should be forwarded. The data plane is like the muscles carrying out those instructions. SDN separates these functions, allowing the control plane to be managed centrally by software, while the data plane focuses solely on forwarding data packets. This separation is a game changer. It allows network administrators to make changes quickly and easily without touching individual hardware devices. Need to reroute traffic due to congestion? SDN can handle it with a few clicks. Want to implement a new security policy across your entire network? SDN makes it a breeze. Section 6. The future is flexible. SDN's potential to revolutionize networking. The benefits of SDN go beyond just simplifying network management. By making networks more flexible and agile, SDN is paving the way for a whole new world of possibilities. Researchers are constantly pushing the boundaries of SDN, developing new applications and use cases. One exciting area of research is in network automation. SDN's centralized control and programmability make it ideal for automating tasks such as network provisioning, optimization, and security. This can free up network administrators from tedious manual tasks, allowing them to focus on more strategic initiatives. Another promising area is in the development of intent-based networking, or IBN. IBN takes SDN a step further by allowing administrators to define network policies based on their desired outcomes. 
For example, instead of configuring VLANs and ACLs manually, an administrator could simply tell the network to ensure that only authorized devices can access sensitive data. The future of networking is looking bright, and SDN is leading the charge. With its ability to simplify network management, improve flexibility, and enable new innovations, SDN has the potential to revolutionize the way we connect and communicate. So, there you have it, a quick look at the world of network devices and the exciting future of SDN. Until next time, this is Linus, signing out.